everybody's got a thing or two on their mind. It's about time you heard mine. Hey, it's Ryan Steumann here. And on this week's edition of The Rant, I can't believe it. I saw something on the news today where like the Port of New York and the Port of Los Angeles uh, shipping workers or something of that nature are actually striking over the fact that their jobs are being outsourced. Now, this is like one of those moments in my life that my mind is absolutely blown. Now, first of all, I'm coming to you from my bathroom where I sit my laptop and I work, right? It's convenient. It's right next to the bedroom in the nighttime, so I just come through here and move all my wife's makeup and things out of the way, and I come in here and I do my work. As a matter of fact, I was in here working until 9.30 last night. I have an office in my house. I just choose to work in here. The fact is, I go here because this is what it takes for me to get the job done. And notice the fact that I said I was working until late last night, and, and it's because I put in hard work. And I'm not talking about me, but it's crazy what's going on across America right now. People are striking. There's people that are unemployed right now that don't have a job, that want a job, that can't get hired somewhere. And there are other people being such selfish assholes that have a job by the way, I'm on the job working and ranting, and my son is over here in the bathroom with me, right? Because I'm dedicated to getting the job done. And so it's, it's, it's mind-blowing that these people are striking because their jobs are being outsourced. They are so stupid that they are fueling management with the same... <laughs> It's, it's, it's insane. You're striking and giving the people that are outsourcing your job an opportunity to do your job better while you're making an ass of yourself and exposing a company on national TV and you expect a raise? You freaking moron. You expect a raise? Really? Really? You're not even doing your job. You're supposed to be on a job right now and you laid it down on the job. I swear to God if anybody ever laid it down on a job with me, they're fired. And I'm going to tell the world that they suck. Right? You just laid it down, really went on strike because I'm not paying you enough, but didn't you agree to come to work for me for the amount of money that you're making right now? So why do I owe you more? That's what we agreed upon. If you were such a skilled negotiator and a badass employee, you would have came in with a bigger contract, wouldn't you? No, you little sheep. Oh, and then somebody gets you all riled up. You're no different. That Man, I, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just going to take that, that last part back. So the problem is, if you have a job, be glad that you have a job. If you have a dollar, be glad that you have a dollar. And people are talking about CEOs and corporations and greed and all these things, you know. And it really is greed for people to want to get in the back pocket of those people too. I'm not rich. I'm not a multimillionaire. I'm not a gazillionaire. I've worked hard all my life for everything I have. And, and in all honesty, if I worked all my life to protect and build something, I would be willing to share it with people. But if they weren't willing to take the same risk and, and put their family in poverty and in jeopardy and the things that, that we know entrepreneurs have to do to be able to succeed, then why should they share in the benefits and the glory of the people who were in the trenches with me from the beginning or the people that did put their time in in school to become management or people that did put their time in on the job to become management? So the mentality of we all deserve a trophy because we participated is bullshit. And if you're one of the freaking idiots that's buying into that mentality, hey, Trophies ain't worth no money on the free market, right? Participation trophies for sure ain't worth any money because everybody has one. There's no value assigned to them. So don't be an idiot. If you know people that are thinking about striking on their job, put them in contact with me. Let me have a little sensical moment of free speech with them. I would love to talk to somebody who's thinking about striking on their job because you know what? There's plenty of people in other countries right now that are dedicated to hard work that would love to take that job. So don't be stupid. Don't be stupid and don't be greedy. And if you haven't read Atlas Shrugged, good Lord, we are in the third book in full speed right now, if you know what that means. So with that being said, share this with a friend. Catch you back here next week. Man, this rant's close to my heart. In my bathroom. Say hey, Jax. Say hello to the people. Hi. <laughs>